Hello again, and welcome back to E3. All day, every day, all year, every year. Uh, it's time for PlayStation. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. A lot of obvious stuff like Days Gone and um, God of War, Spider-Man. Um, hopefully some VR stuff from From Software would be nice. Um, but uh, how can they top last year's? <laughs> I gotta say, last year's was so fucking good. Um, this year's, can they do it? Can they do it? I don't know. Detroit will be there, which will be cool. It's gonna be good. That's okay if you can't hear these guys. I'm I'm literally trying to talk over them. This is not this is not the conference. This is just the the pre-show. Um, because that's gonna start very soon. New handheld or nah? I'm definitely nah. Definitely nah. There's just no way. I mean, if you've learned anything um, from the past few years with PlayStation's E3 conferences, it's there's no Vita mentions. Vita hasn't been at E3 for, I think, three, three years? In a conference, that is to say? Like for any given game, I think it's been three or more years. So. Yeah. Oh, cool! Undertale was announced for PS4 and Vita. That's dope. That's awesome. Vita ain't dead yet. Oh, it's getting a collector's edition too. Cool, man. I'm surprised, to be honest. I thought it would be, uh, I thought it would be Nintendo that gets Undertale first. Sick. I'm down for that. I'll get that collector's edition. Holy shit. That's awesome. Ugh. I'm really excited to see some new VR stuff. Uh, that's what I'm really excited for. I'm also interested to see if we'll see... Uh, a new Capcom title. I'm interested to see if we can confirm whether that Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite leak list is is super valid. Um, you know, there's a lot. Uh, Blue Reflection is not by Platinum, FYI, Boom Cannon. It is by um, Gust, owned by Tecmo Koei. So, the old rules of TV no longer. So I guess works. we're starting now. I guess we're in now. We're watching here. And here. And here. No, this, this is, is just an ad for PlayStation View. And Never we mind. Store more We're not starting now. Than you could ever watch. This is just PlayStation View. Watch on five devices. We're not live yet. This is nothing. Rules of TV have yeah, Gus does the Atelier it's games, exactly. So. Look at that, no Vita logo. How many, how many trailers, or how many ads are we going to see straight up? Cute. Uh, we haven't really gotten any news about the uh, Platinum Grand Blue game yet. Not yet. We will eventually. Probably, probably more towards TGFs, but yeah. Have I watched Recreators? I'm not done it. I've watched a bit of it, but not done it. I very much like it, though. Okay, here we go. Do I have any issues with my Vita TV? Mine, yours won't load Freedom Wars anymore. Tried deleting the game and re-downloading the game. Caldron Horizon is just on sale for like two weeks. That's it. Okay, so I guess we're in now. Super live. Oh, yeah, we got the live orchestra again. Last year they had a phenomenal, or well, this looks a bit smaller than a live orchestra. But last year they had a phenomenal live orchestra. So.
What a mysterious beginning. Could this be leading towards Uncharted The Lost Legacy? I don't know. Maybe. Is that a live waterfall? Is Sony going to project the whole thing on a waterfall? Sony competing with themselves for the most interesting E3 stages. Kingdom Hearts 3, all areas except Agrabah scrapped. Yeah, Thanatos, I saw Undertale on Vita. It's cool. That's awesome, honestly. Okay, then. Last year their stage was amazing though with the with the screens on the floor. They can't possibly top that. The Trident. This Bone is uncharted. Arrow. Yeah, yeah, uncharted. Okay, yeah. The Axe. The great battle in which Ganesh lost his tusk. We I am looking forward to this. We find the tusk. Supposed to happen? I know. I mean, they're always kind of samey, but I find them enjoyable. Welcome to downtown Halabadu, last known resting place of the Tusk of Ganesh. I don't like it. You don't like anything. It's so this began its life as an Uncharted 4 DLC no, no, in the season pass, us, right? um, and it turned into a full Another like standalone release, me. right? Um, but it's really cool that they're they're sticking to their guns and everyone who bought the season pass is still getting this as as their as what they paid for. Despite the fact that the price of this increased dramatically from being like a standalone DLC. Collector of antiquities. It's kinda neat. Parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. No, this is Chloe and Nadine, not uh, not not Nathan Drake's girl. I must admit. That was a good reveal at PSX. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? Your history with the Sarv made you the obvious choice. You lie to my face. Cards on the table. I need your help. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Yeah, Chloe's great, so I'm glad she's finally getting her own game. You know nothing about me. The casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, Nadine was the tough girl in Uncharted 4. That's exactly it. She's great. Okay, so now I guess we're gonna get a requisite talking to from Sean Layden, I suppose. Or are we going straight to another trailer? Last year's Sony was incredibly impressive. It was back to back, trailer to trailer to trailer. I want to say 80 plus percent of the time. Okay, so there's snow in the audience now. Snow on on the audience in the in the. Wow. Boy, they're pulling out all the stops for this one. Gorilla. Horizon DLC. We're getting a big Horizon DLC. Yeah, it looks like it. Few dare trespass. Yeah, I agree. Sean Layden ended up being a pretty cool guy, Sergeant Goat Milk. But they never find glory. Only death. I'm not here for glory. 
I'm here for the mountain. For answers. Then you must face the beast that guards it. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale 2 with really elaborate stages. There it is. I still haven't finished the base game, so. <laughs> 2017, wowzers. Good for them. They got stuff for 2017, man. Is my audio a smidge too high? I turned it down a bit there. Sorry about that. Now, is it raining in the crowd or is that just the sound? Probably just the sound. As they destroy all the journalists' gear. Okay, so this is, uh, days gone. Come on, get him inside. What happened? Got hit again. Squatters off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. Don't look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. Uh, Born a Man, no Death Stranding tonight. I just run the camp deep. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! Oh no, Sony's Sony's futzing with the audio mixing. Live. Oh yeah, we got Nitro Boost. Are wolves a real threat when riding a motorcycle? I've never ridden a motorcycle, so I don't know. Oh shit. Let's do this. Yeah? You want some of this? Struggle to not die. Yeah, we got that Streets of Rage. This is like Studio Ben's first big AAA game since Uncharted Golden Abyss, which was back in 2011, man, December 2011 it shipped in Japan, so this has been quite a long time coming. Though apparently they worked on two other pitches for big Vita games that did not go anywhere. I think it was an infamous Vita game they pitched and another uh, new IP they pitched for Vita. I was going to say, what were you doing with the camera there? <laughs> I wonder what the purpose of putting hanging the zombies like that is. Is it like a warning mechanism? or Do you think any big new IPs will be shown this year? Yeah, probably. Sony's generally pretty good at showing new stuff every year, so... On stage, they're actually hanging people. <laughs> so, are you just the shitty raider asshole in this game? Because that's kind of cool that you get to be the shitty raider asshole if that's what it is. Oh, that was why the camera pulled out. They were actually showing that? Well, fuck. No, I was too busy looking at the gameplay. Fuck, I can't believe I missed that. 
That's too funny. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I really do like how the crowds move in this game. I mean, that's kind of the game's thing as far as I can see. But the crowds look fucking good. Like, just that enemy density is really nice. This game has a lot more sneaking than I would have thought. There he is. Still alive. Oh, how the hell am I? Oh. oh fuck, he's gonna blow up the barricade and lure the zombies here. Oh man, so you do get to be the raider asshole in this game. That's kind of cool. Facial animations are good. Oh, God. Take. Hi, Manny. Hey. So, do it. Yeah, you do. Oh, come on. I wasn't going to let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? Oh no, it's a bear. Just back up. Nice and slow. Don't make a sound. Yo, it's a bear covered in barbed wire and shit. Did he have a gun? Was he a zombie? Or was he just a fucked up bear? Please welcome to the stage. Those guys are Sean taking Layden. it too far. They're being weirdos. Welcome. Welcome. Good evening and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, fans and friends. This is, the, this is your 2017 PlayStation Showcase. Thank you for coming tonight. <laughs> Naughty Dog Gorilla Ben, out of control. I thought this opening was completely uh, insane and, uh, because I had to walk under zombies to get on stage just now. I mean, it was all right. about that last night. Um, it was an all right glad opening. We're delighted to be here. We have a full show ahead of us. So um, let's just agree that we love games and we want to see more of them tonight. It's all about the games. Every year we continue to push the envelope of storytelling, imagination, and technology. And 2016 was no exception. Virtual reality is now a real consumer product. And our consoles are more powerful than ever. How much money do you think they spend on all these options. effects and actors? With, eh. We'll take a moment for that. Eh. Thousands. For the launches of PlayStation Probably VR not and PS4 Pro, too many tens of thousands. Again, stood at the you know, of bringing these technologies it's worth it for the, the amount of viewers anyway. And now, in 2017, it continues to be all about the games. In the past few months alone, have given us some of the most creative, high quality, and engaging video games ever seen. Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> Neo. Say Nier Automata. Resident Evil 7, MLB The Show, Persona 5. Say Nier Automata. Say and it. Yet we have an Fuck, even come on. Broader, more diverse Snubbed. Snubbed. Games coming soon. You, you will see, you will, that's the plan, right? You will see tonight that Worldwide Studios is bringing you the exclusives you want, and through our strategic partnerships with third-party partners, PlayStation is home to all the biggest and best franchises in the world. It has never been a better time to be a gamer. 
Thank you all, all our fans, all of you, for your support and for making PlayStation. They said Neo too, which is cool, but Neo sold really well. Neo did outstandingly well, considering what Tecmo Koei games usually do. Like, it did outstanding. And thank you all for being here tonight. As you open E3 and celebrate the world of games. It's all it takes, Metroid Zard. This week is our web portal. We have a web portal this week. Live.playstation.com will serve as the home for hours of programming, including developer walkthroughs, Q&A sessions, in-depth conversations, and so much more. But tonight, <laughs> Say Caligula. let's recognize <laughs> the art of gameplay with a showcase of the most anticipated titles here at E3. So, without further ado, let's get back to the games. I know we said Death Stranding wouldn't be here, but... Before I step off, it's my personal pleasure and a privilege to share with you now a title that has a rabid cult following around the world and has a very special place in my heart. Please enjoy. Is it a new game? Rabid cult following new game? Near to his heart? What could it be? Could it be Parappa 3? Is it Crash, Crash Bandicoot? That's Monster Hunter. <laughs> it's Monster Hunter. <laughs> Damn, son. Damn, son. We got it in HD. <laughs> Look, they had to make new models. They had to make new character models. No more PS2 models for us. The Switch gets double X. PS4 gets whatever this is. I assume this is the Monster Hunter World trademark. I like the horns here. Real nice looking, I gotta say. Oh, yeah, get on. Get that dragon's dog, my boy. Yeah, fuck your tree. Oh, he's got a rope to pull himself back. Take off that cloak. I was gonna say, was he gonna get trapped in the fucking cave? Oh, nice. Look at that grapple hook. Even more environmental stuff, too. It was cool how 4 introduced a lot of that, but this is like a step up. Aw, oh, shit. We got what I assume is a Tigrex. No, it's not a Tigrex. The monsters are very different looking. It's hard to tell. Oh, this theme. Has a Rathalos. God, I'm fucking stupid. Nice! Looks real good. Yo, we got guns that don't look quite as useless anymore. I always liked the guns in Monster Hunter, but they were always difficult. I always had a tough time with them anyway. Yeah, we got cooking! Oh, cute. Cool, cool. A lot grayer. Unfortunately, the color palette's a little more muted, but... Cool. I'll take it.
The Shadow of the Colossus? Oh my god, now Wooly's gonna be freaking out. Nani the fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. So I assume this is just a complete remaster since it's by Blue Point. Oh, damn, that looks great. Oh, the quality of this remake. This is like leapfrogging some of their earlier great achievements like Gravity Rush. This looks so much better. Like, this does look like up to modern standards, pretty much. Fucking nuts. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. 2018, alright. Yo, Japan's back, baby. You question Japan. Okay, what? Biological life must be exterminated. Okay, let's see some characters. Let's see some new characters. We got Arthur, we got Dante. Doctor, get us out of here. I'm struggling to remember who and who wasn't con Old or who and who weren't confirmed. Of the infinite six. Gamora, we Was there a monster hunter in there? Oh, that nice Gamora design. I thought for sure they'd use the movie design. You have no choice. Help us. Release me, and I will give you what you want. Give us cause to trust you. Help us to find the Infinity Stone. Chun Li's fabric on her clothes Very looks great. Well. The Stone of Power lies at the heart of no room. Bear witness to the death of your world. Zero? His core routines have been rewritten by the Grandmaster. Oh, damn it. Nova, Major, get to the core. The time stone has concealed itself. I love Nova so much. Valconda needs its key. We had a dream. Our two diseases. Ah, Zero wasn't in the leaks, huh? Maybe he's one of the first characters in the DLC list, or could it be that it's actually debunked? Before your god. You are no god. <laughs> there was a monster hunter. Yeah, okay. I thought I saw one in the first group you shot. Diversion. Make it count. No, wait. Ninjas. Dante, can the ladies come out to play? Yo, we're going to play that right away. We're going to play that shit right away. Care to dance? We're gonna play that right the fuck away. Unfortunately, my internet's not the fastest, but we're gonna play that right away. Uh, Ace Combat 7? Man, I thought I'd seen everything. No. We're in Call of Duty World War II. Now we're gonna find out what you're really made of. Yeah, for sure, I'm going to get Shadow of the Colossus. Wait, wait, is this resistance? No. Sorry, I thought it said invasion. Oh, well, of course, they did invade, it's true. Never mind, that's how World War... That is how World War II happened, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's not up yet on the store. Time to show what you're made 
I mean, it's not like it looks bad or anything, just, you know, Call of Duty. No Canadian history lessons were about the same. I was always pretty unstudious as far as history went, though. I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit that. Um, I know that's something that my knowledge is not super thorough on. I mean, yeah, the game looks it looks good. I mean, it's it's Call of Duty. I have played enough World War II games when I was a teenager, but I mean, it looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing bad to say about this. <laughs> Show Shadow the Colossus more. Show that more. Yeah! Okay. I know this is the bit most people are getting unhyped for, but I really like VR, so let's see From Software's game. Start with From Software, please. This is, this is the Skyrim music. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Skyrim music. This is the Skyrim. I was kind of already planning on getting this for my Switch. So... Which one am I supposed to get? VR or Switch? Which one's the... Which one's the go-to? Because this one will run at 90 FPS. It's, it's neat that Bethesda's got Skyrim and Fallout 4 and Doom in VR. Yeah, on Switch you get Lonk from Pennsylvania. But on VR you get your own lusty Argonian made. Oh, it's Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Prime 4, Metroid Prime 4. Game Trust, dang. Game Trust getting in there. Slime Farmer 2. If you haven't tried any third-person platformers in uh, in VR, um, one thing I will mention is they work, they look incredibly good uh, in VR. Stuff like Lucky's Tale uh, and the uh, Robot Rescue on PS4, they feel incredibly good. But is that what this is, or are you going to play as the robot too? Dunno. Neat. That's neat. I like the logo.
Monster Hunter World's confirmed for PC, huh? Need info, Caldreon. Is, are we still in the Let's VR section? Again. Yeah, we are. Oh yeah! Super massive! Oh. These guys made it until dawn! Inpatient. Okay. All right. Sure. All right. You're welcome to join me. Yeah! <laughs> finally, finally, we get it. <laughs> Listen to that guitar. You get to eat with the boys. That's a bit too big to fish, Noct, but okay. Monster of the Deep, Final Fantasy XV. Yeah! <laughs> Literally crack open a cold one with the boys. Oh my god, are we still in the VR block? Oh, Supermassive's in there. Is this gonna use my aim controller? Probably. Okay, this doesn't look too special from an aesthetic point of view at all. Alright, that doesn't seem like aesthetically that game is nothing, but Farpoint was really fun, so. Eh, we'll see. Yo, VR time still. Golem still needs re-revealing. From Software's needs revealing still. Polyarch, is that the company? Could this be the next anima? Zero Dine, you might be right. <laughs> He has a devil bringer. That rat, that mouse has a devil bringer. He's super cute though. Oh. Fun. Yo, we got fighting too. Yo, we got Devil May Cry 5. Ah! I liked Redwall. I am, that is. Moss, huh? Okay. Neat. I'm so happy that they're showing so many VR games. I know a lot of people are like, okay, get on with the VR, but I'm glad. Okay, now the VR is over. I'm glad. That's a bunch of games that I'm happy with, though. Bloodborne Cart. Bloodborne Cart. Come on, Knack 2. Come on, Knack 3.
Mm. Parts of the Caribbean PS2 remastered. But yeah, it's got a war. There you go. Kratos calmly using his boat. You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth. Hang on, boy! Okay! Man, this Kratos is so fucking fed up. from home, aren't you? And here I thought your kind was supposed to be so enlightened, so much better. Oh, look at that pot. That's good. That urn. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. Wait here. I will handle this. Oh, cool. Yo, we got shield skills. I gotta say, the combat does still look pretty fun, though. We got gr you see that ground bounce? That air stun? We got combos. No text, though. No text. <laughs> wow, that was uh, something that the uh, fight. <laughs> Why does my stream look so blocky? I don't know. All manner of creature. To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. <laughs> Close your heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. But not everyone is bad. Mother always said to be open to those who can help. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. Man, you know, I, I see people talking about how they'd be down for a PS5 in like 2019. And it's like... Man, we're clearly not even maxing it out yet. Same with Xbox One, like... We don't need Xbox Two anytime soon. We've clearly got room to move still. What is this? It's the World Serpent! That's the Jormungandr, right? Or whatever it's called? Jormungandr? I am! What is it saying? Yeah, if you told me that was the first boss, I'd be like, sure. Sounds about right. 
Early 2018, hey, there you go. What was the last big game Santa Monica put out? Was it another God of War? I can't, I literally can't remember. Oh, it's Detroit. Yeah. Hold on. Just a little while longer. Hold on. Just a little while Possible game of the year. Hold on. Just a little This is a night our people will remember. There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit. We're gonna attack those stores and Oh wow, do we have bigger environments to walk around in? That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. You're awake now. It's true, Omicron does have big environments. It's no true, it's true. We can't just leave our people behind. It's too late. If we stay here, we're gonna get shot. North, our people need us alive. There's nothing else we can do. Marcus! No, North, you're making the wrong choice. Marcus is correct. Shit. Take cover! We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. I'm gonna send the humans a message. You know, I... I mean... I really hope the choices are slightly more meaningful in the long run than they ever have been. My but name I don't know, is man. Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to Every time you it's like maybe this will be the good one. Maybe this will be the good one. We're with you. Heavy Rain was all right. I like a lot of parts of it. It has it has problems. Then follow me. Maybe this will be the good one. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of CyberLife stores. Given the facts, it's pretty clear these attacks are linked to the deviant video message broadcast recently from the Stratford Tower. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated... Uh, Ryong says this is by the same person who made Omicron, it can't be good. I, I violently disagree with your reasoning, um, because he made better games than Omicron after Omicron. Numerous stores have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. We're getting reports that hundreds of androids have been stolen. Oh yeah, it could be, the game could be terrible, for sure. This could be the worst one yet.
Remember that they do have another writer on this game, not just David Cage this time, so... Still hoping that results in something. My name is Marcus. I am one of them. This is our story. Yeah, they do that same line at the end of all the trailers for Detroit. Okay, what's next? Zoom in, please. Please zoom in. Oh, it's Destiny 2. Okay, you can zoom out. You can zoom back out now. Please zoom out. You are weak. Undisciplined. Cowering behind walls. I mean, I, I liked the first one enough. It was flawed as fuck, but like... I still played like 30-something hours. It was a good time. We'll see. That said, with Anthem coming, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure, you know. Because I like the way Anthem looks even better. I'm glad that uh, PS3 and 360 are off the table now, so the environments are going to be a lot bigger and stuff. Your light is mine. Knack 3, Knack 3, baby. Please welcome back to the stage, Sean Layden. Are they gonna close with Spider-Man or something? I hope they have a couple things left. Okay, everybody, just breathe. Yes. <laughs> that was quite the roller coaster ride for the last 60 minutes. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. The future is here and it is now with PlayStation 4 Pro and PSVR. I gotta say, impressive that they didn't even show more excited than to um, kick off E3 2017, Gran Turismo Sport. Celebrating the content and the creators who make PlayStation the best place to play for gamers. Now, let me leave you with a true PlayStation exclusive, a true exclusive from PlayStation, from one of the industry's most respected developers. Let me thank you again for coming tonight. Is it going to be Spider-Man, or is it going to be something friend, brand new? Meta for struggling on through. And now, everyone, please, enjoy the ride. Yeah, yeah, Spider-Man. All units, all units. 10-10 asset, 36 in park. Repeat, all units be advised. Shots fired at Fisk Towers. Oh my god, what the fuck is this stage? <laughs> Cart in the monitor. But Sean, that monitor costs $50,000. We can't just no move it. I'm telling you, move the monitor.
Yuri, I'm here. Uh, Dr. Glendale, I'm under the impression this mo this game does not tie in with Homecoming. Boss wants him dead. Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got this? I got this. Costume's nice. God, this is like... <laughs> Like, the moves he's doing look like the same moves you see in every other Spider-Man game. So I just have to bear in mind that this will assuredly play better than almost any other Spider-Man game. We got some batman going on. We got some Spider-Mines. Nah, Ionic Vector, no From Software again. Should have worn a helmet. You don't need to kill us, too. Fisk's territory is ours now. Not today. Spider-Man! Yo, I hope they have extremely humorous QTEs like that one 360 Spider-Man game had. Where you could just leap into the fire. Okay, well, it looks a bit like the Batman. We got launchers, though. Launchers is nice. That's fun, actually. I don't think Spider-Man 2 holds up, honestly. I tried playing it a few years ago, hey, and I was, I was surprised. You. Nice jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. He just left that guy to die. Saving bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought today would go. Oh, nice. I got slow-mo stuff, though. Lots of environmental stuff going on, too. I was going to say, that guy was super dead. <laughs> hey, big guy. Dodge until he tires out. What an enemy archetype. Fisk, your men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? You're about to find out. Check the roof. He's here? Oh, cool. Running up walls, nice. I'm excited to see the selection of villains in this. Uh, is that a good idea, boss? Are you sure you just wanna... Can the helicopter really... Is that gonna work? Or was that a stupid thing to do? Yeah, get the quick time event. Oh no, actually no. No quick time event. Yes, quick time event? Oh, maybe actually no. Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, there we go. I was gonna say. For a second they had me worried there wouldn't be a QTE. Just 
Sure. But that goes smoothly into into web swinging. That's really nice, actually. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball. It's complicated. While running, Turns nice. Out Martin Lee is running the demons. The guy who runs the homeless shelter. Like I said, complicated. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. Very fast mental and movement in general. We are cornering. That helicopter is destroying the city. I know. You need to bring it down. I know. Maybe you could superhero a little faster? <sighs> Working on it, Yuri. Oh, cool. Nice animation. Too close. It does look quite floaty. That wall running looks a lot like Sunset Overdrive, actually. Wow, nice sequence. There's so many graphics on the screen. Hi, is this the flight to Newark? Not murder. Why are you doing this? Oh, cool. We got a fight sequence here. Well, QTE fight sequence. That'll still make for a nice section. <laughs> Yo, they're having fun with some of these camera positions too. That cop lady is Wraith? Okay, cool. Please don't screw this Neat. Up. I did not know that. VZLI Nemesis asks, this has to be bull shots and not representative of actual gameplay, right? Well, you know, in all honesty, that was what people said about Horizon Zero Dawn, and they actually totally delivered, so... That's possible, you know? This doesn't necessarily look better than Horizon Zero Dawn, so I would say it's totally possible is what the game looks like. Cool! 2018, bummer. I guess that's their holiday title next year, or something, maybe? Are they just ending on that? Ah, bummer. So, the one thing I'm a little not sure about, what was their holiday title this year? Do they have one? Is it Gran Turismo Sport? They have like the Horizon DLC and Uncharted Lost Legacy, but did you guys have a... Uh, everything was 2018. Nice that everything was 2018. Didn't really spy any 2019s in there, but hey. Um, no From Software, unfortunately. I was really hoping From Software would be here with their VR title. Uh, no Last of Us 2. The Last of Us 2 is probably firmly 2018. Uh, yeah. You know, um, that was a really good conference. It was nice how it was just trailer to trailer to trailer to trailer to trailer, like last year. Um, I don't know that I would say it was better than last year. Last year had, like, fresh announcements of Spider-Man. Like, Death Stranding is pretty hard to top, but Monster Hunter was pretty killer. Monster Hunter was pretty great. Uh, Shadow was also pretty great. Um, pardon me for not being, like, mind-blowingly excited to replay Shadow. Uh, but Shadow was pretty great. Um, that's it. A lot of 2018 for Sony. A lot of 2018. Certainly not a bad press conference. But yeah, I'm, I'm almost inclined to agree with you, uh, Ragon Kiba. Right now, I'm like, not sure if I like Ubisoft or Sony better. Um, not sure which one I like better. I think there were... Mm, I don't know, I prob probably, like, I got more excited during Ubisoft. But 
Ubisoft was very good. Let me check if uh, if uh, Marvel is up. This is important. So, come on, dude, let's go. Miles! Hey! Miles is there. What the hecky? Are there gonna be two Spider-Men? Are there gonna be rival Spider-Mans? Neat. <coughs> um. Um. Yeah, I don't know. We still have Nintendo, of course, tomorrow. It's not over till it's over. Um, but yeah, Sony and Sony and UB, I think were the winners as far as I'm concerned right now. If it has to be a contest, um, sorry, I'm still looking for this demo. everyone could be here with us in the shrine to have seen. Doesn't look like it's quite up yet. But nonetheless, a lot of great games. Big update on Spider-Man. Okay. Well. God of War. The, a lot Let's of hop to it. Updates on third-party titles as well. Whether it was That's Call wrong. of Duty, World That's War II, That's right. Blog.us.playstation.com. Let's just let's just cut through it. Oh wow, PlayStation Blog is down. It's not so. I guess everyone's going. Everyone knows. I wouldn't say Devolver wins. Nintendo's still tomorrow. And to be honest, like Devolver's was so different. I have a hard time even ranking it in the same category. Like. They only showed, like, it wasn't really a, a, a gaming, a game conference, you know, they showed two games. PS4 and Xbox One, PC later for Monster Hunter World. Do they have a link to the infinite thing? No, so far consistent with the roster leak, if some characters are story only. Uh, Black Panther, Zero, and Mayo. Okay. I assume nobody's got the demo going yet. Oh, great post. Apparently it's going on Xbox One as well. Let me see if it's up on Xbox, because my Xbox is just sitting right here too. And if it's on and if it's on Xbox and my Xbox is sitting right next to me, then I don't see why not. <sighs> yeah, I think Ubisoft got the most out of me, but Sony's like there are more games in Sony's I think that I actually want to play. You know, um, I, I see a lot of people saying X One. Uh, I see CS Paint says it was an okay E Three in general. We still have Nintendo tomorrow. We we do still have Nintendo tomorrow. Um, so, Xbox One doesn't seem up. It, it, I, I don't, I would not say it lived up to last year's, um, I would not say it lived up to last year's, uh, E3, but honestly, like, Sony, good luck living up to that E3. That E3 was, in my opinion, was incredibly strong, so, God of War, that's a box art. Uh, yeah, sure. Not super into God of War. Ah, uh, look at that. Undertale, PS4, and Vita, Collector's Edition. I'm gonna get that. Undertale's super good, dog. Nintendo's at 12 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, noon. You get the complete soundtrack, sheet music, who cares? Box, who cares? Uh, collector's box. Okay, well, I just want that. I just want that. I just want the, the, this. That's dope. It's good stuff. Spidey Man. Um, this is good Spidey Man. Hidden Agenda. Yeah, this one I'm... Oh, co-op horror. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What, 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 what is this? Where was this one announced? PS4 Supermassive 2017. This wasn't announced on the conference show. Another game by Supermassive? Thriller. Um, designed to be played on your own or collaboratively with a group. Again, these are the guys who made. Um, really matter. These are the guys who made. The, um, uh, until dawn. And the drama can live or die based on the decisions that you make. 
<laughs> Man, they showed off two games during the event, and this was this was during the pre-show. Holy shit! So they have three big games in dev. So it's about that's nuts. Trust between the the characters in the game and their relationships, but also the trust. This was in the pre-show. Cool. The story of the game centers around a serial killer known as the Trapper, who has been murdering um, numerous people for ill effects. How people play. Everybody can die as a result of your action. Story. So another Accessible. Until Dawn esque game with fun mobile game interaction for, stuff. Um, it's fun. Social it's play. neat. It really. Monster Hunter World, PS4, Xbox One, PC later date. Dang, son. That's a get. It's a hell of a get. Looked a lot of lot of stuff about it. Not even announced for Japan yet. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure that's just a matter of later this evening, you know. Yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite demo soon. It's not up yet, unfortunately. Might take an hour or something. Um, there was a lot of stuff about this trailer that jumped out to me as like modernized, simplified features, like all all the stuff that's interactable, having like little green glows on them. We got green glows. Look, the fireflies fly off of you and identify the thing. Look, that mushrooms. These mushrooms, everything's... Everything's green. There was red fireflies there, too. I'm not sure what they're for. It's neat. It's neat. I've never been huge on Monster Hunter relative to other hunting games anyway, so... You know, what are you gonna do? Uh, Shadow of the Colossus is fucking dope. I wish the PlayStation blog would load. If there's a European PlayStation blog, there is. Blog Europe. That one must be much less populated right now. Yeah, hunting games like Monster Hunter, like Soul Sacrifice, like God Eater. Uh, yeah, hunting games. I don't mean, it doesn't mean like Cabela. It means like, you know. <laughs> That's like the genre, like Tokiden and stuff like that. Um, fuck, man. The site does work for you? Oh, fuck me. Look at that. Look at me not knowing how to operate the fucking internet. I'm so fucking smart. I'm so fucking intelligent. Um... Ah, oh, shit, they don't have press releases up. Usually, Sony has press releases up, like... Instantly after conferences, but I guess they're not there yet. Um, I don't know, man. That was, uh, that was cool. But again, just not, not mind-blowing. Not better than last year's. Let me check another site for some more info. Road to VR has got a little write-up on the five new titles. So Star Child. It's a third person. Oh, it's by the guys who made Lucky's Tale. That's who Playful is. Okay. So these guys have already made one big VR game, and now this is, they're on to their second one. Cool, cool. So this will be them learning from their mistakes. Neat. That's cool. I'm, I'm, that, that looks interesting enough. The Impatient. It's by Supermassive, so... Feeling pretty good about that. Uh, here's hoping. Final Fantasy Monsters of the Deep. Like, shut up. Like, that's a winner. That's just a winner. I mean, right? <laughs> right? Um, Bravo team. Looked really bland artistically, but Farpoint was really fun to play. Um, so... So yeah, you know. Oh yeah. Thomas busy. <laughs> That's good, dude. <laughs> um Farpoint was really fun to play, so as long as I can use the aim control, that'd be fine. And then Moss looked really neat actually. Um actually has like a combat system and shit, so Moss might be Moss might be legit. Moss might be super legit. Um, let's pop.
pop open E3 recap, a site that someone tuned me on to, and I realized, oh, this is an amazing, an amazing thing. Oh, Zalti uh, postulates that it might, Moss might be pronounced mouse, like, or more like that. It's quite possible. Oh my god, is E3 recap? No, there we go. It's loading. It's loading. They're working on it. Um, I will say, if I if I had to pick and choose... Picking and choosing between Sony and Ubisoft is tough, but... Um, between Sony and Microsoft, like, yeah, it's not even, not even a contest. I thought Microsoft was very flat. Is that just going to link me to the site? Looks like they're getting hammered, too. Maybe it's because they're updating stuff right now. No, there we go. Okay. What, one thing I will say is, quantity-wise, fuck off, quantity-wise, um, there was more talked about in the Microsoft one, but as far as the actual contents, I wasn't really into it. Fucking this website. I have to be more patient. I'm not patient enough. MS did have a bunch of cool games. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm just saying, personally, it wasn't... It did not interest me as much. And their 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 goal of trying to get me to buy an Xbox One X really didn't really didn't get me. Um, oh, for Ubisoft LP we were. I also really liked their space shooting game. Uh, I thought that was really neat. That like slightly aged up toys to life stuff. Oh my god, this loads so slow though. Okay, well, I'll just I'll just leave that there, I guess. <laughs> we'll get back to that next week. No DMC five, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, Dreams was also absent. I would postulate maybe Dreams. We'll see it at um, Gamescom in uh, Cologne. Here we go. But I don't know. I don't know. MS also had the backwards compatibility that was incredibly cool. Original Xbox backwards compatibility is fucking awesome. I, I think the other thing that makes me feel like Microsoft's was weaker is that, like, it's pretty much all multi-platform games. Like, it was a, you know, there's a lot of good games, like Code Vein and Dragon Ball, that really excite me, but, like, I can get them elsewhere. And that's one thing I think Sony's was much stronger at, was, like, a lot more, just numerically speaking, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, that's like more than double the amount of exclusives shown. So it's like, you know, that that does... So Uncharted Lost Legacy uh, still looks good, still going to be a small Uncharted, yeah, you know. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn uh, uh, DLC, I still haven't finished it. Um, so maybe in the future, but that's that's cool, I guess. Um, I shouldn't have counted that as a game. That's DLC. Eleven. Uh, Days Gone looks still looks good. Um, doesn't blow me away or anything. So it's definitely gonna be one of those things where I want to see how the reviews come down, stuff like that. Um, uh, Monster Hunter World, dope. Um, Shadow of the Colossus. Don't forget backwards compatibility is anti-consumer and not working worth including for future Sony consoles. Yeah, I super don't agree with that. <laughs> I liked their idea of like how they were doing the PS2 backwards compatibility, uh, upping the resolution of games, adding trophies, basically just making them better items. Um, but Microsoft has demonstrated with the like quantity of releases um, that they've been able to do that they've got a better system going for sure for backwards compatibility. Definitely. Um... Sai says there's even less of a reason to upgrade from a PS4 Pro uh, from a PS4 to a PS4 Pro, but so many people did. Um, you know, one of the other things that made me want to to go from PS4 to PS4 Pro was the price was acceptable. The price for the Xbox One is it's fucking expensive, man. It's five ninety nine in Canada, <laughs> like like the prices aren't aren't comparable. That's definitely one thing I'm I'm sure about. You know, and like I was able to get. A couple hundred bucks for my PS4, no problem. I don't think my Xbox One is worth 200 bucks anymore, you know? Um, Marvel Infinite still looks good. Still, hopefully, we can get on that demo tonight. Um, Call of Duty World War II, super not me. Uh, Elder Scrolls, uh, Skyrim, V2, 
PR. Uh, I mean, it's Skyrim. Uh, yeah, you know. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, not really thrilled for that, and now I have to pick and choose between the Switch and the PS VR version. So, ah. Uh. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, Star Child VR. That did look good. I like Star Child VR. Uh, it's published by Game Trust, so it probably has a physical release too, which is fun. Um, thank you, Film and Coffee, for checking up on the demo. Also, Jokey Silent, thank you guys for checking up on that. Um, Star Child looks fun. I like VR a lot, so hey. The Inpatient, I like VR a lot, so hey, I'm down for that. Final Fantasy 15, Monsters of the Deep. Uh, validating my purchase of a copy of Final Fantasy 15. Since I'm, I think it's probably a DLC item, but you really can't tell. Um, Bravo Team. Wow, that art was bland, but the aim controller is fun to use, and I would like another full game for the aim controller, so eh, I'll play it. Um, God of War. It, you know, it just it doesn't really thrill me, to be honest. I'm not caught up on God of War either, but it just doesn't really thrill me. Um, I'm sure it'll be good, but... Uh, Detroit be is supposed to be beyond human, I think, right? Um, uh, God, I hope this is the one. To, let's be really real for a second. I don't think this will be the one. But every time, I hope this one's the one. Or is it Detroit too human? It's too human. Yeah, yeah, not not beyond. Oh, uh, become human. Yeah, yeah, become human. Christ, I can't even remember the subtitle. <laughs> God of War was, like, really surprising last year um, when they announced it. But, hey, now it's just like, okay, well. Um, inpatient. Is Inpatient just VR? Uh, unclear. It could be, but it could also not be. It seems like the kind of game that would probably work without it anyway. Uh, Destiny 2 is Destiny 2. It's probably going to be good. I don't know how interested I am, but, hey. Uh, Spider-Man, very interested in that. Uh, yeah. That's it. Looks cool. And Moss. Mo actually, <laughs> Moss actually jumped out to me as, as one of the cooler ones. Um, also, just dig that it is a VR game as well. So, hey. Where was Metal Gear Survive? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so, you know, certainly not a bad presser. Um, not at all. Not at all. That would be the PC gaming show. God, why don't they have the press releases up? Um, that would be the PC gaming show that I thought was super dull. Um, but not mind-blowing either. It, it was all right. It was all right. And, I mean, no, it was better than all right. It was, it was good. Um, and if I was more excited about Monster Hunter or Shadow of the Colossus or whatever, then that would be, that would be dope for me. But, um, for me, I definitely felt like... The VR stuff was kind of a highlight for me. Nice. This is cool. I've been wanting to play super hot VR, so that's great. Yeah, I mean, that's that's where I'm at, you know? That's where I'm at. Strong start, but, like, I was hoping for more big announcements towards the end, and I feel like they just kind of never came. Um, you know? It, 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 uh... I don't want to say it petered out, but I feel like it could have used another big announcement at the end. Yeah, VZLA Nemesis. Monster Hunter is dope. It's cool. But, I mean, like I said before, I'm not I'm not crazy into Monster Hunter. I'm, I'm Since this looks to be something of a reimagining in some ways, I'm totally down to try again. But, like, I've bought so many Monster Hunter games, and I just can't get into it. So, so hey, man. So, hey. Last year's E3, we were spoiled at last year's E3. Resident Evil 7, uh, God of War, Spider-Man, uh, Death Stranding, uh, Farpoint, uh, so much at last year's E3. Yeah. So, I don't know. You know, thankfully, Sony, uh, as, as uh, New Index points out, they do have PSX and Gamescom or Paris Games Week, depending on uh, what they're feeling this year. Um, and well, and actually they have TGS as well. So like, you know, they do keep announcing stuff all around the year, which is nice. Uh, but Hey, uh, oh, and yeah. And there was days gone last year as well too. That was announced last year. Fuck. 
Uh, don't worry, Rio. I have not forgotten the demo for Marvel Infinite. Uh, unfortunately, it's not. It's not up yet. It seems to not be up yet. We can we can do some live shopping. I was really hoping for uh, for FromSoft though. That would have been nice. Let's go to new this week. And where's demos at? Demos. Super excited to see Nintendo tomorrow. So new this week, demos usually go right at the back. Mm, no, looks like it might not be. There's a Girls and Panzer static theme. I should get that. Bam. Thank you, World of Tanks, for providing me with this. I love that th those guys partnered up. Like, seriously, that's fucking awesome. Might as well get this, too. While, while we're shopping for free, let's just go. Yeah, they showed a bunch of Nino, Nino Kuni uh, in the pre-thing, in the like pre -thing, didn't they? That's cool. But none of them really... I don't know. I, 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 I want to stay blind, as blind as possible on Nino Kuni. I actually would like to not see anything about it if I can, if I can avoid it. Uh, demos by title. Um, that's a lie. These are in, like, totally arbitrary order. Yeah, no, there's nothing coming up yet. I gotta check out elsewhere just in case my payment information is on screen. <laughs> oh, the DLC for Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2 actually fixes bugs? Dang, that's cool. Oh, hey, Norisuko. What'd you think of the Sony thing? It was, it was, I thought it was, it was good. Again, I think it's good, but, like, just couldn't hold up, man. Just couldn't hold up to the power of last year's. Like, at risk of coming across as a gigantic fanboy, like, shut up, last year's was so good. <laughs> Monster Hunter was cool, yeah, I agree, Norisuko, it was cool. I wish I was more into Monster Hunter. Oh, Norisuko says it's his first Monster Hunter. That's cool. You'll you'll probably have a good time with it. Probably. Probably. I think it's safe to say. Yeah, I saw the new limited run game announcements. Uh, nothing in there really jumped out at me. Crawler, Crawler Sigma is cool. Um, Undertale for Vita is dope, though. I'm happy about that one. This demo is still not up, right? Oh. oh, oh, you guys got a link in this demo thread? I'd be down for a link in this demo thread. Nope, no link yet. Oh well. What are you gonna do, right? Um Oh yo, and we got PSX dates now, December 9th to 10th. I, I would love to go again this year. I really like going to PSX. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford it this year, so we'll see where that goes. <laughs> fucking if they would have announced Scalebound at the Sony event, that would have been fucking killer. That would have been the most killer thing ever. I would have loved that. <laughs> that would have been so good, man. So good. Uh, yeah, the same thing happened with the Resident Evil 7 demo, Norisuko, where they said, uh, it's out now. And then it just wasn't, and then it wasn't, and then it wasn't, and then it came out, like, the next morning at, like, 2 a.m. or something like that. I think it happened with, um, it happened with PT as well. It's out now! Is it out now? No, it's out in, like, two hours, so. It takes a little while. So, hey. What are you gonna, yeah, Sony would have fucking won if they had Scalebound. I knew this is not a competition, but they would have won. <laughs> uh, nothing from Platinum at E3 this year. Yeah, nothing from Platinum. Maybe at Nintendo tomorrow. We'll see uh, Bayo 2 on the Switch. Be nice to see Bayo and Bayo 2 on the Switch. Yeah, I have played God Eater. It's it is it is it is quite enjoyable. Um, 
Don't play play God Eater Burst and then God Eater Resurrection back to back though, because you will burn out. I say this from experience, you'll burn out so fucking hard. Scalebound for Switch confirmed, nice. Dope. Down for that. So I'm going to wrap up here, um, and I will let you guys know what the deal is on Marvel. I'm not going to bed anytime soon. Um, so I'm going to tweet out when we find out what the Marvel situation is. And we'll see. And we'll see. Uh, hopefully it'll be up tonight. If it's if it's only going up at like 3 a.m. though, we'll probably stream it tomorrow. Like after Nintendo or something like that. So we'll see. You know? Yeah, you know. You get it. You got it. Cool. I'll figure this out. Yeah, Code Vein looks fantastic. I agree. I'm, I'm super excited for it. But otherwise... But otherwise, I'm going to wrap up. Oh, shit, it's card game month, so I can't play it. Ah, uh, fuck. I guess I'm going to have to break my rule just because it's E3. Can we put it to a vote? Can we put it to a straw poll? Strawpoll.com. Let's put it to a vote. Am I allowed to break my rule? Can I break my card game? only rule once please yes no that's it uh great pull bang copy i'm po pasting it in the chat now so to be super clear the rule was i'm only allowed to play card games card game games on this channel rising super stream to be super clear i just posted the straw poll i'm gonna vote in it because i'm entitled wow i misspelled yes i wrote ness <laughs> <laughs> fucking lol cool seems it seems pretty resounding right now 70 people say ness 14 people say no. <laughs> it's not yes, though. No, it's a technicality. It means yes. Ness means yes. <laughs> We're going to play Marvel Infinite live on this channel because you guys voted Ness. <laughs> God. Good golly. Good golly gosh. Refresh results. 110 votes Ness, 18 votes no. I'm going to take that as a Ness. I'm going to take that as a Ness. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to be out for the evening. Or, no, actually, let me correct myself. I'm going to be out till either Marvel comes out and I download it later this evening. Or tomorrow after Nintendo, we'll play Marvel. One of the two. Um, we'll see. We'll see which one comes first. I hope it's tonight, personally. I, I'm super down to play it. Uh, but we shall see. Uh, so yeah. Is the de is a demo a game? Yeah, a demo totally counts as a game. Totally, totally. I'm counting it. I'll see you guys later. Thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, I know some of you guys have been tuning in all day and all E3. Thank you guys. Thanks everyone. Uh, one more, one more tomorrow. Yeah, we're East Coast. I'm East Coast. Uh, one more tomorrow with Nintendo at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um... And if Nintendo drops a fat demo for Mario Odyssey, we're going to play that too. Because you guys voted Ness. <laughs> and I can't, I can't handle. I can't deal. So again, I'll repeat it one last time. Just so we're 100% clear. 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Depending on your time zone, set your alarm. Because you wouldn't want to sleep through it. That would suck. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Take care. Sleep tight. Bye, dudes. Good night.